Hi everyone. This week we're going to have a sneak peek and look at behind the scenes of Creative Suite TV. And just pretty much how I do the introduction here. I use some new green screening technology that Adobe have in Premiere Pro CS5 called the Ultra Key. I'm going to show you how I usually put the introduction to my show together right there on the timeline in Premiere Pro. It's super quick, it's super easy, anyone could do it. So if you're just getting into video editing and you want to start learning how to do some green screening, then watch this episode of Creative Suite TV. I'm sure it will shed a lot of light on the subject. You'll be truly amazed at what terrible conditions that this show is produced in. Well, when I'm creating Creative Suite TV, I only really have a limited amount of time, and that's why I do as much as I possibly can in Premiere Pro so I can get the shows out very, very quickly. This is a typical setup of an episode that I do. Um, you can see on the timeline here I'm zoomed in um, on the uh, introduction uh, section and then over to the right hand side we have uh, the video tutorial which I've um, already got a transition in. Uh, you can see uh, down in the lower section here that I also have my audio track which is a sound booth uh, score. So we have that in there as well. Let me just lift this up a little so we can see better. Okay, that's done. So the very first section here, the, the section you can see uh, in the preview window there, you can see my little green screen in the background and the rest of it um, is just um, back in the office there. We've got the wall in the background and the back of the door and a jacket and all the rest of it. That's just sitting over in the background but I've I've lit everything pretty well, so with my little basic lighting rig. So I scroll across, you can see exactly what's going on. So the first thing that I would do uh, would be to go and crop out most of this background using a garbage mat. So what we do is come over here to the effects panel uh, down the lower left hand side and just going to type in garbage. Um, so the garbage mat um, is just a way of pulling in a really rough uh, crop around the edges. So to apply any of these effects, I'm going to use an 8-point garbage mat, drag and drop it onto the clip on the timeline here, and then the effect, as a matter of fact, any effect that you apply, will appear in the effect controls at the top of screen here. So what we then do is go ahead and select it. There we go. Then we have a look at the preview window here, and I'll just expand this out by, by selecting it um, so you can have a look. Let's expand it out. We can, we can bring that up like that so you can see it a little bit better. We want to select the 8-point garbage mat though and start to pull in the corner. So you simply just click on them with your cursor and pull them in. And what I'm doing is just aligning this up with the edges of the green because we're going to use the ultra keyer to get rid of the green. We're going to use the garbage mat to just remove those extra bits like that and one more we'll put that up into that corner there and then more or less there we have it. So we'll, we'll, we'll zoom in again there. Okay so we've pulled those edges in just make sure we get rid of that little bit of shadow there looks pretty good and we're starting to reveal the background. Okay, so that bit's done. We can deselect that. Now the next section is to use the Ultra Kia. Okay, so this is a brand new um, green screen Kia straight in Premiere Pro. We don't need to go to After Effects and use Key Lights. I'm going to use it here. Um, I'll just type in the word Ultra to make it uh, a little bit easier to find down here in the effects. So Ultra Key going to drag and drop that also onto the same clip and then that gets listed in the effect controls at the top here. There it is there, ultra key, and if we twirl it open there's a bunch of other settings. So all we need to do is select the uh, key color that gives you an eyedropper or a turkey baster as we call it. Come over here and then just click on the color you'd like to key. So 
typically I will use a green key uh, if I um, if I had a green shirt on for example I might use a blue key uh, which is what the other side of my green screen has on it it's a two-sided screen anyway, whatever so grab the turkey base to go ahead and click on that background and it more or less gets rid of it let's have a let's have a good close look you can see some edges still there but it does a pretty good job straight off the bat of removing most of that and then what I typically do uh, from this point is get into the alt ultra key uh, section here and we'll just zoom in a little so you can see both at the same time get into the ultra key section you can twirl open the map generation and just to get rid of those shadows I go to the pedestal section here and as I drag this to the right click and drag to the right to scru scrubby slider you'll see I can get rid of that little bit of shadowing it's more or less gone now and uh, that's it so the pedestal and we can move that around even a little bit more if we like you can um, affect the transparency um, you can choke it in a little bit so if you're getting a little bit of spilling over on the edge you can do that you can change the midpoint you can soften the edge um, you can desaturate you can do a whole bunch of stuff color correction um, to saturate the image a bit more so you know we might like to saturate the colors a little bit more and why not um, looks good change the luminance so lighten up and you can do like a little bit of color correction in there as well which is what I typically do when I'm brightening up uh, one of these clips and there we go and now it's much faster to even scrub through so I can even scrub through on the timeline here this is the mercury playback engine will allow me to use this footage it's AVCHD footage straight off my Sony camcorder I can play it straight back on the timeline there use the ultra care it's bloody fantastic and it allows me to create these episodes and these introductions in a really quick time frame and then get them out to everyone to start watching I think if you want to produce any type of video you should be using Premiere Pro CS5 it is awesome